Okay, this is just a little tech tip um, for when someone doesn't hook up the pigtail, but it works for the wiring. Um, last time I went hunting, I hook, of course I hook up my four-wheeler at night a lot of times just to speed things up, keep from leaving quite so early. Uh, apparently I did not uh, put the pigtail into the truck and it drug and it boogered it up. Uh, so I have to fix it and I splice another one on here. What do you see here? This is normally uh, the white wire, the ground. When I got the trailer, it had a problem with intermittency on all of the lights, so I traced it down and found uh, a saggy wire underneath the truck, uh, underneath the truck frame, the bed, had been cut because it had gotten up underneath one of the rails, so I fixed it. That's the reason it's not white, it had yellow in the house. I fixed that. Now, stretch this down. This is a factory harness, or was a factory harness, so it had... Uh, tail light to each side and then of course stop and blinker whichever one they work out the bright lights so um, what I've done is to reduce bulk if when you cut these off you trim them at different lengths it allows you simply to stagger your splices and also to further reduce bulk I used a soldering gun and and uh, shrink tube and so we've got those two there these two further up uh, the line and of course the uh, ground or the black there what it will do is it will let them bundle and not appear to be uh, some idiot forgot to hook it up and cut his wires uh, so there you are I uh, just bought a, a replacement at the big box store put that in there now that's good all you need you can also use a product like these uh, shrink seal type connectors if I were doing one up underneath there's like like a boat trailer that going under the water these are real good because they keep the uh, corrosion off here we're not coastal so I don't really have to worry about the salt water invading uh, the um, the connection but it, it does keep them uh, watertight thing is they're bigger in size and they're much they're basically one of these with a uh, butt splice connector inside covered with uh, glue type shrink tubing on top of it cinders uh, you can wrap with a good quality tape this is either 33 plus scotch 33 plus or it may be 88 plus 88 plus is thicker and used for where there's a lot of rubbing and bouncing uh, basic ul listed shrink tube and that kind of thing and that's about all it is it ends up with a much nicer looking repair that's not as obvious uh, somebody's getting old and forgot to plug it up and there is the final you know repair you, you really if you don't know it was spliced you can't tell and like I say these are you don't have to do this but I often will wrap a plastic wire loom with uh, the tape this was in fact 88 super 88 not 88 plus super 88 is what to call it uh, it's good quality uh, tape and uh, there we go takes 10 10 minute fix but at least now we'll be riding legal have a good day appreciate you watching